This is a medium format camera, and this is a 35mm camera. Now, both of these shoot film, but the main difference between the two is the size of the negative. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another King James video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at both formats and we're going to be comparing them to see which one is right for you. Should you shoot 35mm or should you shoot medium format? Is medium format worth the upgrade? The first thing that I want to address is that medium format should not be seen as an upgrade. Shooting medium format can be beneficial, but there are a couple of downsides that you might want to consider. 35mm is the most versatile format because it can do pretty much all genres of photography. Portraits, landscapes, fast action sports, you name it, it can do pretty much everything. And that's all due to the smaller size of the negative. The smaller the negative, the smaller the camera body. And that means for medium format, since you are shooting a larger negative, you are going to have a larger camera body. And this can be detrimental for people who are shooting events or for any type of photography that requires you to be mobile because you might find Find it a little difficult to bring this thing around or maybe even have two of these bodies on you at one time and that is where 35 mil has its advantage over 120 but here is the trade-off larger negatives aren't always bad in fact it can be better because of the larger aspect ratio of this film there's more of a plane to capture more detail which in trade will give you more resolution which is why you'll often hear people saying medium format will give you better image quality so if you're seeking higher resolution or better image quality from film and you still want to shoot film, go with medium format because that's what you're going to get out of 120. And this is why you'll often see wedding photographers, portrait photographers, or for people who even just print big like landscape photographers, with a larger negative, you're going to get more resolution. And that's the trade-off. You get a bigger camera body, but in trade, you get more resolution. Should I go straight into medium format? Alright, first of all, you don't need to go straight into medium format. And I totally get it if you, you know, you're taking advice from another photographer that tells you to go for medium format, probably because of the image resolution. But truthfully, it's all about finding the right tool for the right job. So if medium format is a better fit for you, then absolutely 100% go for it. But if you're still unsure of what you'll be shooting and you don't know what you want to do with it, then I would suggest maybe starting off with 35mm and maybe later on experimenting with 120. Which format is more expensive? Luckily in 2019, the camera market has opened up for film shooters to get both into medium format and 35mm at a very affordable price point. Generally speaking though, if you go online and you search medium format and 35mm cameras, you'll find that medium format cameras are always going to be slightly more expensive. But there are some caveats to the statement. Factor in the super hyped up 35mm cameras like the Contax T2 or the Contax T3 and you're looking at spending anywhere between $1,000 to $1,600. And folks, that is enough money to get you two Pentax 6.7 bodies and a couple of lenses. So depending on what camera you get for 35mm, you know, you might find that medium format can still be a lot more affordable than the 35mm cameras themselves. Again, depending on the camera that you get. But that doesn't mean you can't pick up 35mm cameras cameras at a smaller price point. Matter of fact, most of my favorite film cameras are under $100. The Minolta X700, the Canon A1 to name a few. I mean, there are endless options of SLRs, point and shoots, and even a couple of different rangefinders that you can pick up in 35mm format around $100. And if you want to get more pricey with it, you can go up to $200 and get yourself a completely decent setup. To wrap up this episode, I thought I'd point out a couple of different things that can make or break your decision on whether you shoot 35mm or medium format. 
And the first one is medium format will generally give you less frames per roll. And that's because with 120 film, depending on the format of the camera that you'll be shooting, you're probably only going to get around 10 to 12 frames max per roll of film. Whereas on 35 mil with a 36 exposure roll, you're going to get 36 exposures. So that's less than half of what a 35 mil roll will give you. But again, factor in the size of the negative and also the format of the camera. Now with that said, 35mm film is more expensive than 120 film. The price per roll is a lot higher, and that's because you're getting a lot more frames per roll than 120. Lastly, if size matters to you, which it shouldn't, Take some time to really think about what you're going to be using your camera for. Do you need to have a camera that is very mobile, that you can travel with, or something that you can just stick in your backpack? Or do you have more time to set up shots? Or maybe do you have, you know, that extra kind of need for resolution? At the end of the day, if you still can't decide which one to shoot, just go shoot both. But that's going to wrap it up, you guys, for medium format versus 35 millimeter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys think about which one you guys are going to be shooting or if you're shooting both like what I do. Um, I really want to know and hear what your guys' thoughts are. So thank you guys for tuning in to another King James video. And as always, Minolta Gang. <sighs>